How to make and use the arc furnace in immersive engineering. Well, this is the recipe here. This is the bottom. I'll let you pause if you want. So I'll just go from left to right. This is the bottom. This is part two, part three, and the final. Basically, just going over what this is, we've got a lot of um, steel sheet metal slabs, a heavy engineering block and some sheet metal, blocks of steel, sc steel scaffolding and a cauldron, redstone engineering block, some reinforced blast bricks, and there will be a gap here, because it's slabs you're using on the bottom, two more heavy, some light engineering blocks and two more heavy, of course, and another block of steel, then put on top a third block of steel and bring on the third row your reinforced bricks all the way out, so it looks like that. And then some more sheet metal. So it kind of looks like that. And then we're just going to add it so it looks you know, a bit naughty with the light engineering blocks and steel scaffolding, etc. Um, and of course, you can look at all this bit by bit in the um, the man engineer's manual. You're going to actually form it by right-clicking the cauldron at the front. So let's have a look how we use it. Now, you're going to need to put power into it. And there's three sockets on the second row here at the back. And then we go into it. You are first going to need to um, upkeep it with graphite electrodes. How do we make those? Well, using an engineer's blueprint, the arc furnace electrodes, we're going to turn HOP graphite ingots into the electrodes. To make those ingots, you just smelt HOP graphite dust, which is used by putting coke dust in the squeezer. And coke dust is made by crushing it in the crusher. So once you've made your cold, cold coke, we're then going to turn it into coke dust in the crusher. And then squeeze that into HOP graphite dust. And then smelt that into HOP graphite ingots. And in the engineer's workbench, turn it into graphite electrodes. You can see the integrity is slowly going down. And you will need to replace these eventually. On the left slot is where you're going to put all your input of your ores, etc. you want smelting. And you can see a little heat bar going up as it smelts them. Let's say we wanted to make bronze, however, which needs copper and tin. Well, I can put my copper in here. And you can see the heat bar going up on that. And you put the secondary one, so the tin, in this right-hand slot. Then it's all going to come out in the output here and slag as a waste product. You can press this button to evenly distribute them all, which will use a lot more power, of course, but means it's going to smelt them all up a lot faster and your electrodes will wear down a lot faster. We need to output the slag. So that's going to output at the back as a waste byproduct. And then we're going to output our ingots here at the front. And you can see there's this amazing um, graphics here with this. You can use um, redstone control with a lever, etc. here to turn it on or off. And you're going to input your ores in these two blue slots here. So input here, ores output at the front, or the ingots, I should say, and slag outputs at the back. And that is where your power goes in as well. And that is the arc furnace for immersive engineering. If you are looking for any other, like the squeezer and things like that that you need to make this, um, then check out the playlist here. I've done everything for immersive engineering for you in bite-sized videos.